do you, through the prism of Columbia Economics and Foreign Exchange, see anything like an international upset that we witnessed in 1998 and, frankly, before that in 1992? Well, thank you. I'm delighted to be with you. Um, let me say on that that uh, I, I don't think uh, the same kind of crisis, the 1998, uh, it was very much an emerging uh, market crisis. This is a global crisis, uh, both the uh, slowdown, uh, particularly the inflation, and the uh, uh, increase in the interest rate, uh, which is affecting us very heavily. And very importantly, sir, I look at the caps, the limitation of price increase. We see it on India and their challenges with rice. Here in the United Kingdom, we see it. And indeed, Colombia and others talk about it. Given a more global economy, the speed of information, the transfer of finance, can caps be effective in 2023? Well, let me say that the major problem that uh, we're getting from the global economy uh, is the inflation, but particularly the effect it has had on interest rates. So both domestic interest rates in Colombia, uh, as well as uh, the uh, interest rate uh, in, in global capital markets uh, are very high. And, and that the major uh, specific effect. Of course, inflation is hard to fight uh, due to the international uh, dimensions of inflation. So for a, a specific country, uh, it is very tough to, to fight uh, that inflation, which uh, you can say is a supply inflation rather than demand inflation. Central banks are good at managing demand inflation, but less so in managing supply inflation. There's a great concern that when the Fed hikes rates by as much as the market is currently pricing in, Minister, that it will create some real problems for the rest of the world. And I wonder, from your Colombia, whether you're taking a look at the dollar market and saying, we cannot raise money in that right now at affordable rates. Is that really the situation as you look at your financing needs looking out? Yes, private capital markets uh, are very expensive for emerging economies uh, today, uh, including, of course, Colombia. So for the time being, uh, our international financing uh, is coming from multilateral development banks and official institutions. Uh, but so far, uh, we have not gone this year into the private capital markets. Uh, we hope things uh, normalize uh, uh, somewhat in the, in the near future and uh, we'll go back to the market. We're expecting to uh, raise about $1.5 billion in the private capital markets next year. What does it mean for things to stabilize, Minister? Does it mean that the dollar stabilizes? Does it mean that the Fed stops raising rates? Does it mean that inflation stops accelerating? Well, it, it really means that the, uh, uh, yeah, the long-term interest rates of the U.S. start to fall. Uh, they were falling actually before the the, uh, the recent uh, announcement of the Fed that uh, they would likely uh, increase interest rates again uh, in the next uh, meeting. Uh, but before that, they were falling, and, uh, and and also the risk margins for emerging markets were also falling. But the situation uh, has changed uh, again. Uh, but we hope the, uh, at one point when the inflation stabilizes in the United States, uh, the uh, interest rates of the U.S., particularly long-term interest rates, which are the relevant mm -hmm. for, all, for us, uh, start to fall. Dr. Ocampo, you have been one of the great voices of Colombia through a time, and the stereotype in America is of true civil unrest in Colombia. You've moved beyond that with a new uh, government and your participation as well. Can you describe the stability in Colombia and what it means for your tourism? So many people have gone to Cartagena and the rest of it. Describe the tourism future for Colombia after decades of real unrest. Well, let me say that the, uh, the peace process that took place uh, uh, five years uh, ago uh, has been fairly successful uh, in, uh, in generating uh, uh, peace in several parts of the country. Uh, uh, the current government is uh, involved in, uh, in other uh, negotiations uh, that we hope uh, will be successful. And, uh, and let's say the return to peace in many parts of the country has generated uh, effectively what you say, uh, a, a, actually a boom of tourism. Uh, we hope the, uh, that uh, it will come back uh, uh, when the world economy is fully recovers because uh, tourism in the world uh, is still uh, a bit uh, depressed, let's say. Uh, although it's recovering, uh, and in Colombia, we'll, uh, we'll hope to have a, a new boom of tourism.